Inkling's amazing pressure tools against them, or can Luigi make a comeback with this grab game? So we shall see. Opening up with their projectiles, you know, trying to get up that zoning war up. Here we go. Cosmo just sitting comfortably at ledge, trying to read the option. And yet again, that's really good ledge trapping, just like waiting to see what your opponent does, and then taking that information and applying that to the next time you set them on ledge. And using the downbeat to kind of combo break that combo right there. Here we go. Back air into the dash attack. Throwing up the ledge trap situation. And yet again, a little bit too slow on the dash on the down smash, but you know what? Still manages to find them off stage. And Cosmos getting him off stage. Get it back air. Does he have a jump? I don't think he has a jump, but no, he doesn't. He comes up with a rising fair, which Baylor gets him out of that situation. And again, unfortunately, because that wasn't a grounded uh, grab, it was shieldable. And yet again, back on ledge. Reads the get up option. And yet again, takes a double jump. And yep, Kevin H knew the writing was on the wall, just decided, you know, reset the stocks. No. Wow, that was a really bold up B right there from Kevin H. And you know what, that's a 20% off of jab. I feel like that's probably the best that Inkling can do at that low percentage since any grab combo probably would have been zone break by the down B. And is that it? No, he did keep this jump, but and he texts it, so he manages to make it back, but still no jump, but the misfire saves him! Yet again, Kevin H just barely escaping with his life, but not for long. He gets rollered into death right there. You know what, that stock went by so fast. And throwing out the, the side B in neutral, yet again, there's the Nair train. Gets him back. You know, Cosmos is just looking to end this man's stock right here, right now. But there you go, hopping over the grab. You know, Cosmos trying to find this back here to just throw him off stage, go for an edge guard, and you know, potentially finish this last stock. Down smash, not going to be able to catch it in time. Tries catching the recovery, gets it this time, and yet again, that, that's it. That's it. Cosmos is not going to land that. But he does the rising side B, and you know what? It doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Cosmos. Knowing that he has enough time after the side beat to still, you know, hit him with that soft hit in there. And you know, when you extend his double jump like that, it was over. Cosmos takes it 1-0 with a complete three-stock dominance right there. All right, here we go into game two. Let's see if Kevin H will be able I, I feel like just recovering against Inkling, you know, Inkling, just one of the best edge guarders in this game. You know, that fair is extremely disjoint. It comes out fast, and Inkling can afford to go in deep because of a recovery. So it's going to be extremely hard for Kevin H to, you know, find his way back to the ledge. Here we go. Grab combos. Uh, you know, it tries breaking out with an air, but you know what? Neither player is going to find their mark. Again, Cosmos just sitting comfortably at the center stage, you know, Preferring to use his uh, superior no, frame data, kind of just wall Luigi out. There we go, hopping over to Fireball. Reads the normal get up with the down smash, and yet again, that should be death, but yet again, it doesn't matter because he couldn't snap the ledge immediately, and you no know, Cosmos managed to find the bear, anyways. Oh, well, going, going there in the uh, dash attack. You know, I feel like most people, when they land the there, they try to go for another grab. Go. Setting up the ledge trap and oh he read the option, but you know what didn't just space it right until barely missed out on the punish. There's the up throw waiting for the down B and now he's off stage, gets the edge guard, and that's gonna be it. No, he gets a misfire! It doesn't even matter! It doesn't even matter. Cosmos was prepared for that. Here we go. No, this is looking really grim for Kevin H right here. I mean just so bad. You, you can see that he just does not want to approach. He's trying to zone out with fireballs. I know Cosmos had all the time in the world to try and just zone, like, just wait for Kevin H to slip up and make a mistake. And there we go. That's it. Yep. The bear and the bear. And e e even if that second bear hadn't hit, Kevin H would have been in such a horrible position that Cosmos just wouldn't let him get back to stage. There's no way that Cosmos would ever let up that free edge guarder opportunity. And that's kind of the unfortunate life of Luigi where if you are up against uh, a character who has that extreme like edge guarding capabilities can afford to go in deep can afford to like challenge your side B you know it's going to be really really hard for you to come back to stage and yet again we are just waiting for the next match I mean I feel like that match ended up so quickly that like, none of the other matches are really 
prepared right now at the moment. So, I mean, who do we go? Well, I mean, other than Leo and Cosmo.